Hello everyone, welcome to the first video of uh, Selenium prepared with Java. And in this video, we are going to learn what is a Selenium and what are the different versions of Selenium available and what is a Selenium web driver and why we are going to use uh, where we are going to use the Selenium web driver. These are the, some of the things which we are going to learn in this first video. Basically, Selenium is a set of tools that support rapid development of test automation for web based applications. Selenium provides a rich set of testing functions for web applications. And the next one is Selenium operations are highly flexible, allowing many options for locating UA elements and comparing expected test results against your actual results, against your expected results. And these are all the some of the Selenium features. First one is it support cross browser testing. The Selenium test can be run on multiple browsers. You can use Selenium web driver to execute your test cases on different browsers like Chrome, Firefox, uh, Internet Explorer, etc. And allowing scripting in several languages like Java, C Sharp, PHP, and Python. Just to write a script of Selenium web driver, you don't need to learn any new language. Whatever the language you are already aware of, you can use or implement your. Uh, 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 create your test cases uh, using uh, Selenium web driver in that language which you are already aware of. And next one is assertion statement. Provide an efficient way of comparing expected and actual results. And this Selenium has an inbuilt reporting mechanism. If you are not uh, satisfied with uh, this report, you, uh, there are several open source uh, reporting jar file available. You can just uh, download one of the files which you really like and make use of that uh, file to see your uh, test case report. And these are all the Selenium components and this demonstrate how the Selenium evolves uh, from the beginning to Selenium web driver what's uh, right now. And first one is a Selenium IDE and after that a Selenium upgraded to Selenium remote control. And uh, now we are using a Selenium web driver. Let's see what is Selenium IDE and Selenium remote control. But anyhow we are going to learn only a Selenium web driver in this uh, tutorial because uh, this has a uh, this provider uh, ultimate uh, and uh, most tremendous uh, functions uh, which uh, Selenium IDE and remote control fail to provide and l but let's see what is uh, IDE and remote control as well. So Selenium IDE is basically an integrated development environment for Selenium test and it is implemented as a Firefox extension if you still uh, it's still available you can go to Firefox and download this uh, plugin and it allow you to record edit and replay the test in uh, Firefox. Selenium IDE allow you to save test as HTML, Java, Ruby, scripts or any other format. It allow you to automatically add assertion to all the pages. So this is basically how this Selenium IDE looks and we are not going to learn much about the Selenium IDE because we are concentrating on Selenium web driver in this tutorial series. And this is a limitation of Selenium IDE. It can run test only on Firefox uh, and it doesn't support any other browsers like a Chrome or Internet Explorer and no programming login. So it doesn't provide a, an option to create a loop or conditional statements. And it is difficult to use a Selenium IDE for checking complex test cases involving dynamic contents. So for example, let's say in web application which display a web element, uh, maybe a button after 10 or 20 seconds. And if you want to validate uh, whether this button appear in a web application after 10 or 20 seconds, uh, you cannot do that with Selenium IDE, but uh, you can do that with Selenium Web Driver. These are all some of the limitations of Selenium IDE. And next move on to Selenium RC or Selenium Remote Control. This provides a solution to cross browser testing. It's a server written in Java and it's available on all the platform. It acts as a proxy for web requests from them and client libraries for many other popular languages. It bundles Selenium core and automatically loads into the browser. This is how a Selenium remote control work. If you see first driving process uh, begins when you are executing your script, uh, this will hit this remote control. But this remote control should be launched. Remote control Selenium remote control should be launched before executing this script. It this remote control server acts as a middleman for your script and your web application. First, you are driving the script and in, and it uh, hit the Selenium remote control and it convert or inject a JavaScript into a browser and do all the actions that you have written in your script and get the response back and it convert it into a HTTP proxy format and return back in the form of results. So this is how a Selenium remote control works. 
but let's see what are the limitations of a selenium remote control first of all you need to launch a separate application called as selenium remote control as i said before you start your selenium script and selenium rc is a slower because it inject or it uses a javascript program called the selenium core into the browser to perform all the actions that you have written in your program and the selenium rc api is more matured but contains some redundancies and often confusing commands that is why we are moving to selenium web driver this selenium web driver is designed to provide a simpler and uniformed programming interface same web driver script can run on different platforms you can just write a script and you can execute the script across a different plat uh, different uh, mobile browsers like uh, chrome or firefox safari etc and it support multiple programming languages like java c sharp python ruby php pull etc it is efficient web driver leverages each browser's native support for automation and this is one of the most uh, advantage of selenium web driver when compared to selenium remote control because it interact with that browser directly without an intermediate agent like a remote control server so it's much more faster and efficient than selenium remote control and web driver is a tool for automating web application testing and verify that the work as expected and these are all some of the browsers which are supported by selenium web driver google chrome internet explorer firefox opera android ios and ios uh, 3.2 for phones and tablets what basically selenium web driver can do it can simulate user actions and functional testing system testing browser compatibility testing and regression testing so thank you for watching this video if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and in the next video we are going to write our first script uh, in selenium web driver using a programming language called java in eclipse ide thank you bye bye